off this countdown, we have the sarcophagus. Basically, this is a massive steel and concrete structure that covers the Chernobyl power plant. It was designed to help contain the radiation. The construction of the structure lasted for 206 days, and those working on it had to work in shifts of no more than 7 minutes. Any more time spent near the reactors would have killed them. But still, they did sacrifice their lives building this because thousands of workers still died from exposure to the radiation. Those that survived got severely ill, and majority of them developed cancer. Nowadays, the sarcophagus is still there, but it's beginning to crumble. In 2019, they were in the process of dismantling it because it was going to collapse. So a new one is currently being installed. That's probably the scariest thing in Chernobyl because of how deadly the building it's containing is. In our number 9 spot today we have animal mutations. There's no doubt that the Chernobyl nuclear disaster had devastating effects on all of the life in the area surrounding this meltdown. I think that's something most of us can agree on and while most of the human life has moved out of the area, there is a lot of wildlife that remains and those animals have taken over the exclusion zone. While scientists often observe and test these animals, it is clear that they are all contaminated in radiation and thus have mutated in certain ways, but despite the rumors, there are in fact no three-headed cows wandering around. I think this might be one of the most popular legends floating around in terms of the Chernobyl disaster, the story that there are just full on monsters living within the exclusion zone, or that the meltdown happened because of a failed radiation experiment on these animals. There are tons of swirling rumors regarding the animals, but in the end the effects of the radiation is seen much more in things like their ability to reproduce, or them not being fit for consumption, rather than in things like extra limbs and heads and eyes. In our number 8 spot today we have have the government cover up part 1. Of course a disaster like this is going to get some government conspiracies swirling around and we've got a few of them to talk about today, so let's start off now with the first one. This little ditty suggests that the Chernobyl disaster was actually conducted by the Soviet government due to the failure of a new, at the time, huge missile defense radio structure called Duga 3. This structure, that actually exists in real life, is suspected of having been wildly over budget and it was the source of many, many complaints after it was was built. The systems were extremely powerful and broadcast in short wave radio bands. They would appear without warning and sounded like a sharp repetitive tapping noise and they would disrupt things like legitimate broadcasts, amateur radio, commercial aviation communications and utility transmissions which all led to there being international complaints and at the time people didn't know what this structure was or what the sound was. This led people to think that the signal was actually being used for things such as Soviet mind control or weather control experiments. So this story suggests that in order to eliminate it, the nearby Chernobyl facility was allowed to go into meltdown. It seems like they probably could have done something much less lethal and much less damaging, so I'm not exactly sure how true this one could possibly be, but I do suppose that this is a list of urban legends. In our number 7 spot today we have the Chernobyl Zombies. This little legend can most likely be attributed to a video game that takes place in the exclusion zone but it is certainly not based on any real life facts, at least that we all know of. This little legend claims that after the Chernobyl disaster we of course know that unfortunately people lost their lives, but what happens if those who did then became the undead? Yep, we are obviously talking about zombies here. There are plenty of legends that suggest the exclusion zone isn't dangerous and off limits because of toxic radiation, but actually because there are brain eating zombies wandering the area. I mean, I personally have never received a lethal dose of radiation, so I cannot confirm or deny that this would turn one into a zombie, but I'm just gonna go ahead and call this one out for being fake. I mean, at least I'm really, really, really hoping it is. We've dealt with enough in the last year and a half we really don't need to add radiation zombies onto the list. In our number 6 spot today we have It Never Happened. Okay, this is probably the easiest one to disprove, but perhaps it's not. This legend suggests that the whole disaster never actually happened and that the entire thing is just conspiracy. I don't know why anyone would do that, but hey, this is just a legend after all. 
There would be so many hoops to have to jump through in order to pull off that level of a stunt and keep it up for this long. Like let's be honest, there are too many people involved for all of them to have been able to all keep the secret for this long. There's just no way everyone could keep their mouths shut. And what about the people who passed away from the event? I just have a lot of questions about this one. There are some weird legends on this list, but I do have to say that this one might be the least believable. And we just talked about zombies. Unfortunately, it seems as though the Chernobyl nuclear disaster was a very real thing that happened and it affected a ton of people. It was certainly an event that changed the world and made us all a lot smarter when it comes to nuclear safety. I hope. In our number 5 spot today we have this super secret laboratory. This legend suggests that the Chernobyl disaster was a planned event that took place for a specific reason. You may be wondering what this apparent plan is and that would be the plan to build a super secret laboratory. I mean, think about it. You want to build a super secret place, just cause the entire place to be so terribly contaminated in radiation that no one will want to search the area. Or those who do might even meet an untimely fate. It certainly is an evil plan, but it could potentially be quite effective. I don't think that this is the case at all, and I don't think Chernobyl was a planned event in order to build a secret lab, but I do agree that whoever originated this legend has quite an imagination. What do you think this lab would contain if this were true? Like an Area 51 type thing? Aliens and mermaids? Or perhaps that's where they're hiding all the three eyed animals everyone keeps talking about. In our number 4 spot today we have the Chernobyl illness. This is one of the more malicious stories on this list which I do not like at all. People who lived in the region of the disaster had a huge impact on their day to day lives and a lot of people had long lasting health impacts from the entire thing. This disaster has been linked to terrible things like an increase in thyroid cancer as well as other forms of cancer. So when fake stories of a fake disease began circulating around, it was honestly super messed up. One of these fake illnesses coincided with the height of panic, misinformation and ignorance surrounding HIV and thus the totally made up condition of Chernobyl HIV was born. This made up disease was the source of many a whispered warning against friendship or relationships with those who had survived the disaster. Like like these people just survived the worst nuclear accident in history and now they have to worry about harmful schoolyard gossip? Yeah, no thanks. Despite its terrible origins, people still spread rumors and fear mongered and it truly is a cruel, cruel, entirely made up story. In our number 3 spot today we have Government Cover Up Part 2. After the release of the incredible HBO show Chernobyl, which you haven't seen it, it is a must watch. Like it is such a good show. I watched it with Che if you remember that guy and it was just unreal. Anyway, after the show's release the Russian government released a statement saying that the show was actually anti-Soviet Union propaganda and that they would be releasing their own Chernobyl show which would detail how the CIA was actually the cause for the disaster. Rumor has it that the CIA sabotaged something which caused the reactor to melt down and the whole thing was actually America's fault. I have no way of either proving or disproving this theory or legend but I think it's probably safe to say that someone here isn't telling the truth. And it's not like it's a new thing that Russia and the US aren't exactly getting along. Maybe it's all just propaganda or maybe there's some truth? I don't know, what do you guys think? In our number 2 spot today we have the Blackbird. People in the district of the Ukraine that houses Chernobyl have told stories of sightings of the Blackbird for years and it is perhaps the most well known legend that comes from the area. The Blackbird is a human creature with wings and piercing red eyes and it was apparently seen by workers at the Chernobyl plants on the fateful day of the nuclear disaster. After this it was reported that anyone who had seen the bird would later report suffering from terrible nightmares and begin receiving threatening phone calls. Many of the people where the legend originates from unfortunately were at the center of the disaster and have since passed away from radiation poisoning so no one is sure if the blackbird really is out there or not. The blackbird is said to be a symbol of something terrible being afoot so seeing it is definitely not a great thing to happen to a person. I think it's probably just another one to add to the list of reasons why maybe a Chernobyl visit isn't the best idea. In our number 1 spot today we have alien cleanup. 
There's always got to be an alien story to keep things interesting and to add to the list of questions we have for extraterrestrials when we hopefully eventually find them, and Chernobyl is no different. Rather than the aliens causing the disaster, which might be where your mind went, instead this legend suggests that they helped in the aftermath. Apparently some people out there think that the Chernobyl disaster wasn't as bad as it should have been. I don't think they mean it in as bad of a way as that sounds, but rather they are just surprised that the amount of people who passed away in the disaster wasn't higher, considering how bad the whole ordeal actually was. This coupled with an apparent eyewitness account from a man named Mikhail Veritsky who claimed he saw a fiery ball of light hovering for a few minutes above the exposed reactor on the night of the incident has led people to speculate that maybe our friendly alien neighbors swooped down in the nick of time to help clean up the mess that was made. Apparently this ball of light was also seen on September 16th, 1989 when there was more radiation leaking from the unit at Chernobyl which some claim was the aliens containing the radiation. Honestly, I'd like to think that this one is true because what a nice thing for the aliens to do. They probably have their own nuclear weapons so they certainly didn't need ours and we didn't really have the tools to clean it up so I can definitely appreciate the fact that they lended a helping hand. Number 10. Ghosts. It was a ghost who did the whole thing. Now everything makes sense. There's no way anything could go wrong in the powerhouse known as the USSR unless there was something supernatural afoot. No, I'm just messing with you. I'm not talking about ghosts pre explosion, but ghosts after the power plant decided to go kaboom. People say that the site is now haunted by people who lost their lives in the explosion. One scientist who visited the site in 1997 said he could hear someone screaming from inside the reactor room that they were being burned alive. But the reactor room had been sealed shut and there's no way anyone could get in without a fingerprint scan and a password. So that means there could be some radioactive ghosts just chilling around Chernobyl. That kind of sounds how you make like a second tier Batman villain. Coming in at number 9 we have the gas masks and if you guys are liking this video or want to see part 3 then smash that like button. Chernobyl already looks like the place where an apocalypse occurred. Buildings are completely abandoned, run down and overgrown with nature. What doesn't help is the piles upon piles of gas masks scattered all throughout Chernobyl. This really adds to the eeriness of this place and again makes it look like a place where a zombie or alien takeover occurred. In fact, there is one room inside a school which is just completely filled with child sized gas masks. It's very creepy, but also sad. Like, imagine how frightened the young children were when this happened. The gas masks found there are just a sad reminder of the horrors that took place there when the reactor exploded. Moving on to number eight, we have the rotting toys. Littered all throughout the city are toys or personal belongings people had to leave behind. The saddest thing to see are pictures of children's toys left behind. Like, I just think that was probably someone's favorite little dolly. Go anywhere there and you'll find items scattered everywhere, now broken and covered in filth. Like imagine, you're rushed out of your home and have to leave behind all your personal belongings. That must have been so hard. I can't imagine how everyone must have felt. It's really depressing to think about. Moving on at number 7 we have the examination chair. So uh, this one is pretty strange, but somehow a gynecologist examination chair ended up in the middle of the woods outside of a hospital. Not only is that super weird, but it's also super creepy. It's all rusted and beat up and looks like an old torture device. Not only that, but that means someone had to go inside the abandoned hospital, find that chair and then carry it all the way back down and into the woods. I got a lot of questions. Why would someone do this? And how long did it take them to do this? And again, why would someone do this? Either way, it makes for a very spooky encounter. Moving on at number 6 we have the abandoned cooling tower. A partially constructed cooling tower can be found at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. They were built to evaporate the cooling water from the two new reactors. Sadly, they were never completed. Now, these things are massive. The diameter was over 120 meters and it stands at 150 meters tall. Obviously, after the accident, there was no need to continue on with the construction of this, so the government just left the towers there along with everything else. Eventually, over time, nature will have its way with it and it will start to erode and crumble. It's just 
crazy seeing all these abandoned infrastructures. Imagine how life would have been if that explosion never happened. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the toxic river. There's a river that's just filled with radioactive water right near the reactor. The scariest part is despite how toxic the water is, a bunch of aquatic life live there. In particular, giant catfish. Yes, giant catfish. A video from 2016 shows a massive catfish swimming in the water. People originally were like, oh my god, what the heck is that? It must be some sort of mutated animal. Later, it was just found out to be a giant catfish. But still, what the heck? And it's the fact that they have adapted to be able to survive in that highly toxic water. Like, that just baffles me. Not only that, but they can thrive there because the water has no higher predators. Obviously, though, you're not allowed to go fishing there. Okay, I feel like that's a given, but I also feel like people would still try it, so I'm just gonna say it. Don't go fishing there. In our fourth spot, we have the jarfish. Speaking of fish, we're gonna go with this. So back in 2016, photographer and journalist Miriam Wazer took a trip to explore the ruins of Chernobyl. While inside an abandoned building, she came across something very creepy and odd. She found a bunch of fish and other specimen in jars. Why someone was collecting fish, it just baffles many. And they weren't even like proper beakers or science mason jars. No, no, it looked like someone emptied out their jar of pickles and then used it to store the specimen. I think it's best if those remain untouched. Like, can you imagine how stinky they would be if they were open nowadays? They would reek. Old stinky fish is not something I would ever want to handle. Now the other specimen beside the fish are unknown. No one knows what the heck they are. But if you know, let me know in the comments below. Coming in at number three, we have the abandoned hospitals. The hospitals at Chernobyl are quite eerie. They're just filled with rusted, empty hospital beds, littered syringes, and more. The walls and floors are cracking, and there's dirt and questionable red marks on the floor. I think the saddest thing, though, is that these hospitals are often trashed with medical supplies just tossed everywhere. The days after the explosion happened, people were frantically rushing to hospitals. Hospital staff were overwhelmed by the amount of people there. This moment is still preserved in the hospitals to this day. It's pretty dark once you think about it. And at number two today, we have the Sad Alley. The Sad Alley, or the Alley of Memory, is an alley in the Ukraine created in memory of the villages and residents who had to flee from their homes during the disaster. Basically, it's a walkway with signs lining the sides. These signs are names of cities and villages that had to evacuate and leave everything behind. It's a way to ensure we just never forget the impact that this disaster had. It's really sad. And in our number one spot today, we have the radioactive spiders. Yes, you heard me correctly. Imagine if Peter Parker got bit by one of these bad guys. He'd be like a weirdly mutated Spider-Man or something like that. But anyways, the spiders in the exclusion zone are radioactive. So you definitely don't want to be bit by one. Oh wait, it gets worse. They also make radioactive webs. Yeah, you heard me, that's a thing. So you don't have to just worry about these spiders, but you have to worry about walking through their deadly webs. Like, what the heck? No thank you, nah, -uh. I'm not a fan of spiders, but imagine radioactive ones. That sounds like it belongs in a horror movie. Radioactive, radioactive. Starting off in our number 10 spot, we have Chernobyl ghosts. While you can visit certain parts of Chernobyl today that have been deemed safe, taking a trip may not be for everyone, or perhaps it's too far, or whatever hundred reasons there are for not wanting to visit the site. But with the technology we have now, there's another way you can visit the site, and that is through trusty old Google Maps. Many internet people have walked through the streets of the exclusion zone, searching around, seeing what photos Google Maps holds, but with those virtual tours comes something that is absolutely terrifying people, and that is the apparent sighting of what is referred to as the ghosts of Chernobyl. Many people have reported seeing shadowy figures and sometimes even faces in the abandoned buildings left in the exclusion zone, and I have to admit, some of the screenshots I've seen are pretty terrifying. Do you believe that these are real ghosts caught on camera, or is it just a legend like many of the other things that we have on today's list? Number 9. The CIA Did It 
After the release of the critically acclaimed HBO series Chernobyl, I really can't stress enough how much you guys need to watch the show. It's so good. It's literally the highest rated show of all time. What more do you want? Anyways, after the TV series came out, the Russian government released a statement that the TV show was anti-Soviet Union propaganda and that they were going to make their own TV series telling the real story about how the reactor melted down because the CIA sabotaged it and it was all America's fault. This is some major tea on both sides. They're spilling tea about each other. Will Russia and the USA ever learn to get along? Are we going to have to listen to the two of them complain about each other until the end of time? We should just get these two countries to kiss and get it over with. There has been unbroken sexual tension between these two since Rocky IV. Just start playing nice already, please. Number 8. The Soviet Union sacrificed soldiers. So rumor has it that the Russians sent in robots to try and clean up the explosion site, put out fires and contain the reactor. But the radiation was so harsh that all the robots broke down. So they went to the next best thing, soldiers. It said that soldiers were given an ultimatum to date me or I don't want to see you anymore. Wait, I'm thinking about the wrong unstable reactor. No, what the Russian government actually said was spend two minutes shoveling sand onto the exposed reactor or go fight in Afghanistan for two years. Really the worst choice ever. Go fight in an intense war where a bunch of people are dying every day and your chances of coming back in one piece are slim to none or for sure get radiation poisoning. Something interesting about the Russian soldiers who decided to shovel sand onto the exposed reactor, they were called liquidators because they would take shots of vodka before they went in. Vodka was thought to prevent any conditions related to radiation. We we really knew nothing back in the day. Number 7. The land is safe to live on. Radiation is very bad, we all know this. Comic books have lied to us. Radiation does not give you any sort of superpowers. If you want superpowers, you need to be an alien or super rich. Those are the only ways. After the Chernobyl disaster, the radiation of the surrounding area was at unlivable levels, or that's at least what the government said. Some people from local villages didn't care, and after everything was said and done, they fought to go back to their homes. They wanted the right to live where they used to live, and they were granted freedom to do so. There are over 100 people living in the exclusion zone, and their life expectancy isn't any shorter than that of the average person. They grow crops, hunt animals, and even drink the water, all of which has recorded high levels of radiation. But no one seems to care or be affected by it. Maybe if someone has a baby born out of there, we'll get our first superhero. Just a little bit of radiation right out of the womb. Maybe that's the trick. Number 6. This could have changed the world. Even though there was an explosion at the Chernobyl plant, it wasn't a massive meltdown. It ruined the surrounding area and the reactor site is still extremely dangerous, but it could have been much worse. If there was a total meltdown, like a Britney Spears 2007 shaving her head level meltdown, running around with Kevin Federline level meltdown, the world would have been a much different place. The nuclear fallout would have made Europe unlivable and millions of people would have died. The Spice Girls would have never existed. It would have been a major bummer on epic proportions. And we can't really know how the whole world would have been affected by this. Maybe it would have only been Europe, but maybe it would have been the whole world getting hit by this nuclear fallout. Maybe all of us would have had to been raised in bunkers just like the fallout games and only resurfaced to find super mutants and three headed dogs running around and Thriller is still the number one song on the charts. That actually sounds kind of cool. Number 5. Black Bird So the Chernobyl disaster was caused by the mismanaging of the nuclear reactor. Or was it caused by a supernatural being known as the Black Bird? It is said that days leading up to the Chernobyl disaster, people saw a huge black winged creature with glowing red eyes. People believed that it was some sort of demonic entity that came to bring a dark omen to the area. Good news for the Chernobyl scientists, it wasn't their fault at all that the reactor blew. It wasn't because I'm bad at my job, it's just because a mythical beast came to spread dark energy and he did it in the form of a nuclear reactor meltdown. Duh. Some people who were on the site at the time of the explosion said that they saw a dark winged creature flying out of the fire. From now on that's what I'm going to do anytime I screw up royally. I'm going to blame the whole thing on a monster. Did you just rear end me? No. Are you stupid? That was the ghost of Abraham Lincoln. I think you should be a little bit easy on him. When he was alive, cars didn't exist. There were just boxes attached to cars, okay? Number 4. Mutated animals. There's a theory that from the explosion many of the animals who were in the radiation zone were affected by the blast and caused to mutate. 
There's even the taxidermied body of a deformed piglet on display at the Chernobyl Museum. There hasn't been extensive research on the matter, so it's unsure if any cancer growth or defects that were found on animals were because of the blast or were going to happen anyways. Now, enough time has passed and so few humans visit the area that the animal population has actually increased. I would say that the Chernobyl disaster caused the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and that they're actually Russian, but TMNT actually came out two years before the disaster. Happened. I guess the Chernobyl version of TMNT would be middle aged Chernobyl scientist human in great pain. Number three, the meltdown was a cover up. Take out your makeup wipes, girl, because we got to uncover some tea. I think that should be my new catchphrase. Well, this is some major tea about the Chernobyl disaster. There is a rumor that the whole thing was a cover up for a failed secret experiment known as Project Woodpecker. Project Woodpecker was a giant set of radio towers that were supposed to give the Soviet government the ability to detect nuclear missiles before they were launched. If this thing was to work, it would be huge. They could know where other countries were keeping their warheads and if other countries were lying about having nukes at all. But the project failed and because the people working on the project were so afraid of what would happen to them if the higher ups found out about the failure, it said that they orchestrated something that would distract everyone from the problem and also destroy the problem. Pretty sneaky plan but kind of a long shot. Too many things would have to go perfectly right for this to be true. but if it is true, it's some major tea. Number two, the meltdown was caused by the KGB. Girl, if you thought the last one was hot, I got some scorching tea for you. There have been rumors that the whole Chernobyl meltdown was a plot by the KGB to control Europe. By causing the reactor to explode, it would strike fear into the rest of Europe when it came to building their own nuclear power plants. After the whole world was watching as a reactor melted down and almost destroyed the entire continent, not a single soul would get in line to buy a shiny new power plant. Instead, all of Europe would have to rely on Russia for energy since they have a huge amount of natural resources. This would give Russia an insane level of power for the unforeseeable future. This is hot, hot tea. And number one on our list, UFO heroes. All right, it's time to go way off the rocker with these theories. I was able to dig up some reports of people saying they saw UFOs that helped stop the reactor from becoming a major disaster. Mikhail Vartisky was there on the day that the reactor went and he said he saw several glowing objects fly over the broken reactor. He then saw a beam of red light shoot out from the glowing object and then it flew away. People believe that some alien friends came down to have our back in this terrible time of need. They were like humans invented tacos, we must save them. 